This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Months ago, I woke up and everybody was gone. There's no more power, and for some reason, barely any vehicles. Where did they go? My name is Michael Davis, and I may very well be the last man alive.
Usually family vacations are filled with great memories. Memories you don't want to forget. But for me, all I've been trying to do is forget. I found temporary remedy within alcohol, and of course, my job as a business owner. But nothing could make me forget that night, and it's eating me up inside. That's Tom Higgins, my best friend. He also happens to be my business advisor. Hey, Mike. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Doing well, man. And you? Everything okay? <laughs> Listen, I know you hate it when I bring this up. But we have to talk business. <sighs> Thought about selling yet? Our numbers are low. We may be forced to close soon. You should really consider it, Mike. Not sure how many times I'm going to tell you this, Tom, but everything's fine. It's just a bump. Besides, it's all I got now. It's not all you got, Mike. We've been friends since high school. I know you more than anyone. This is the perfect time to sell, and you know it. You've been changing for the worst ever since that day. It's been a year. You have to move on. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't need you to run my life. Mike, that's not what I mean. Fine. Mike? Yeah? Not trying to run your life. Just someone who cares and hates to see you go down this road. I'm gonna be fine. Thanks. I know he was just looking out for me, but I really felt like I had everything under control.
Keep them coming, Jess. Not gonna lie, I was pretty drunk that night. Well, like almost every night for the past year. Jack off to that later. You have no idea who I am and how much money I got. You're in big trouble, you bald-headed dumbass. I suggest you keep quiet before you make things worse for yourself. Ah, well, fuck you. Fine. We'll see you Monday in court, Mr. Davis. What, am I supposed to give a shit? Yeah, fuck everyone here! Did I mention I had a temper problem? Not my proudest moments. Anybody there? Anyone? I noticed the door was loose, like it was unlocked. Hello? Breaking out of jail. making my way out. This was really not my typical hangover. Don't get me wrong, I still had that pounding headache. But there were no voices or sounds that made my headache worse. It was just so strangely quiet. The fuck is going on? Where the hell did everyone go? Hello? Anyone? What the f Hello? For the longest time I felt alone, but I've never felt as alone as this. And as I made my way home, I saw nobody. No cars, no lights were on, and no way for me to know what's going on. For some reason, the house, it felt emptier. I couldn't just stay here, so I packed what I needed and started looking for people.
for the better part of the last week, I searched the city, and I never found a single person. So it was time to go out in the world and see if I could find answers or someone. think it is? For the past month I've had no good news. I just kept walking, trying to survive and find answers, but this was like a godsend. Come on, start damn it! <laughs> That is how I got here today, still without answers, without finding anyone, but I'm not ready to give up just yet. I need to know what happened. What the? Just like that, the only car I've seen in three months was no longer usable, but I had to search the town. Somebody must have put that spike strip there, but there was only one way to find out. I could not believe what I was seeing. That's somebody's camp. Now, don't, don't shoot. Looks like I'm not alone. <laughs> 